So this is the um, bead embroidery piece that I am working on and I have uh, bezeled my um, focal pieces and now I cut out the felt about four millimeters and I'm going through and doing this chaos stitch and it's built up quite a bit. You can't see any of the felt in here and it looks very chaotic, uh, uh. but um, it's actually, there's kind of some technique to it. So I wanted to show you what that looked like. So what I am doing is I'm starting by picking up uh, three beads. Uh, I have little piles here. I have five different colors that I'm working with. You can uh, do anything, probably three would be, at least three would be a good, good amount. So here I'm just going over some of the beads that I have already laid down and it's creating kind of a pico. And then I'm going back up and getting three more And here. I want some blues. So let's, uh, the blue is going to show up in the middle bead. So I have kind of some pinks and some blues and I'm going to go up and then it's a little bit uh, where you're just coloring it in with beads, but you're doing it in such a way that I'm actually being strategic about where I want my colors. And then also, as you can see, I'm, this is four millimeters thick. And so I'm going all more than halfway down the side of it because then when I put the backing on, you're going to actually have um, a piece of cardboard and then your leather. And then when you uh, attach your, um, do the backing, you only really want to save yourself space for about one bead and not have to be filling this back up, you know, because it'll just save you time when you do the backing. So back to the chaos stitch. Uh, I put in three and now I'm going back up and let's put in uh, this, my shot of uh, sea foam here. And now I kind of have three sitting side by side and what I'm going to do to make that look a little bit more chaotic is I'm going to go up in between them. My photographer's in the way of my wingspan, but you know, tis the life. And I'm just going to kind of go back down in the middle of those two, which kind of pushes out and makes it chaotic. So really it's just a matter of filling in the space, but then also being aware of what you want your colors to be like. So like right here, let's add a missing kind of this, uh, my focal color, which is this teal. It's not really teal, it's more sea foamy green. So I'm going to put one right there and see now you can kind of tell that it's there's no pattern to it, there's no rhyme or reason, but there is kind of a uh, technique that makes it so that it looks very um, uh, kind of uniform in a way, so that it's built up uh, consistently. So there you have it.